In this tech tip, we're going to show you how to clean the water cooling jacket for the Q50 and Q500 long mass furnace. The furnace itself is pretty much self-cleaning, we just take it to elevated temperatures. But the water cooling jacket can have condensates form on it, which for autumn performance, we need to clean off periodically. In order to clean the water cooling jacket, we're going to need a spanner to loosen the earthing bonding cable, the 764th Allen key to loosen the clips holding the jacket in place, a suitable solvent for the condensates, some Q-tips to help remove the condensates, and of course, some gloves to protect ourselves from the solvent. When we're cleaning the furnace, the first thing we want to do is lower the furnace to its lowest position and turn the power off to the TGA. We may also want to remove the auto sampler tray to help with access. We want to remove the purge gas tube so that we can remove the jacket, and then we can start loosening the nuts on the furnace itself. So we take our spanner, and we'll lose the nuts holding the earth bonding cable on. We can then take the cable off. We take the 764 Allen key and we loosen the nuts holding the clips. The clips can be raised and rotated one quarter turn, so then we've freed the water cooling jacket. To help removing the jacket, we lift the thermocouple up so that it's out of the way. Remembering where it was, so we can put it back in the same position afterwards. We're now ready to lift the jacket off. Inside, we have the ceramic furnace, so when we're lifting it, we want to be careful not to damage the furnace. Once we have it off, we can invert it and then we can put some solvent down the side, use our Q-tips to rub away any condensates and then dry thoroughly the furnace itself. Once it's clean, we can then put it back. So this is the reverse process, again, being careful of the hang down wire and of the thermocouple and also of the furnace itself. Once back in place, we can tighten up the clips fully using the Allen key. Replace the earth bonding cable and replace the nut on the earth bonding cable, which we then tighten up. We can replace the purge gas tube, making sure to bring it on the inside of the protection so it doesn't get caught. Replace our auto sampler tray and then lower the thermocouple back into position. We can then power back up the back of the furnace on and we're ready to go again. Before we start any testing, we want to take the furnace up to an elevated temperature and hold for a while just to drive off any residual solvent. Once we've done that, we're ready to run samples again.